Bigamist. Woman discovers husband has three wives, 13 kids, and is a convicted pedophile. Hey, lovely people. I'm Scott Leffler from Wonder Earth. Before we begin, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for new amazing videos. For six years, Mary Turner Thompson was oblivious to her husband's double identity until a single phone call shattered everything. At first glance, Mary Turner Thompson's romance with William Allen Jordan seemed almost too good to be true. The Scottish woman met Jordan on a dating site in the year 2000. With their instant connection, seeing the U.S.-born man proposed to Miss Thompson just three weeks after they virtually met. Miss Thompson fell pregnant with daughter Elida the same year, with the couple welcoming son Zach three years later. But their marriage came to an abrupt end in 2006, when Miss Thompson received a phone call from a woman who said she was also Jordan's wife. In the end, Miss Thompson would discover Jordan had three wives, 13 children, with six different women, was a convicted pedophile and registered sex offender. Jordan had been convicted of molesting a girl between the age of 9 and 13 in 1997, just three years before he began his relationship with Miss Thompson. The phone call exposed years of Jordan's lies and manipulation, which Miss Thompson would later document in her book, The Bigamist, the true story of a husband's ultimate betrayal. Jordan lied to Miss Thompson throughout the relationship, convincing her he was a CIA agent on assignment to the UK's MI5 division. He faked paychecks to support his claims and convinced Miss Thompson to sell her apartment and possessions to pay for supposed ransom threats against their children. The traumatic situation left Miss Thompson homeless and caused her to comfort eat, weighing 120 kilos at her heaviest last year. Now the mum of three has shared how she was able to gain control of her life again after the shocking betrayal. Completely under his control When Miss Thompson met Jordan in the year 2000, she was a single mother with a nine-month-old baby girl called Robin. Jordan assured her he was infertile because of a childhood illness when they first met, leaving Miss Thompson stunned when she fell pregnant just six months into their relationship. I thought he was going to think I'd had an affair because he was so utterly convinced he couldn't have kids, she told Daily Mail in 2018. Jordan would cover his visits to other families by telling Miss Thompson he had to go on top-secret CIA missions frequently. He convinced Miss Thompson to cough up $250,000 US dollars to stop kidnappers from taking their kids for ransom. By this stage, I was four years in and completely under his control, so I sold everything I owned, my house, my car, my life insurance, everything, she said. While Jordan's long absences sometimes made her suspicious, his expert lying always convinced her he was telling the truth, until it all unraveled in 2006. A slap in the face. During an absence over Christmas in 2005, Jordan rang Miss Thompson to warn her the police would probably get in contact with her about a bogus charge. They discovered he'd been living in the UK without registering his address as a sex offender. But Jordan claimed the charge was fabricated to help him infiltrate a sex offender's jail wing for one of his missions. While Miss Thompson grew suspicious, she still wasn't quite convinced of what the police and social services workers were telling her until she received a phone call from a woman in June 2006. She said, I'm the other Miss Jordan, Miss Thompson told ITV in 2018. The woman, Julie Bringhurst, revealed she'd been married to Jordan the same time as she had, and had also been fed the same lie about Jordan being infertile. Even more horrifyingly, Jordan had also got Miss Bringhurst nanny pregnant. We sat down and talked for 12 hours and compared notes, Miss Thompson said. But she was only convinced when Miss Bringhurst called Jordan with Miss Thompson secretly on the other line. It was odd to hear my husband talking to his other wife. It was such a slap in the face, Miss Thompson said in 2006. Jordan was jailed in 2009 for bigamy, gun crimes, fraud, and failing to register as a sex offender. He was later deported back to the U.S. Excruciating Pain in the years since Jordan's deception was uncovered, Miss Thompson's comfort ate to cope with the trauma. After everything happened, I initially gained two stone, about 12 kilograms, she said. I tried different diets to try to lose the weight, but nothing worked. 
I'd resigned myself that this was going to be my size forever. In 2006, she was left bedbound after slipping a disc, which caused more weight gain. I was constantly in excruciating pain. I couldn't sleep for more than 15 minutes at a time, and I had to do that sitting up with cushions piled up beside me, she said. Between 2016 and 2018, she underwent two operations until she was finally able to walk again. But despite her situation improving, Miss Thompson still wasn't able to lose any of the extra weight and was 120 kilograms. It was only when she tried UK diet program Second Nature that the weight began to shift as she started eating better and moving more. Miss Thompson has now lost 31 kilos and says she no longer craves the sweet food she used to rely on as a crutch. My taste buds have completely changed, and to me, things like milk and yogurt now seem sweet. I don't see it as a diet. I see it as a new way of life.